After the war, a cult was whispered about through the kingdom, a cult that took everything into their own hands, and those hands had often been violent. It struck fear in the heart of all the citizens who lived throughout the kingdom. Whispers that circulated had talked about the cult storming into family homes, stealing children. It casted a shadow upon the kingdom while a war still raged elsewhere, pulling many soldiers away from the people that needed their protection. Eventually, the people in the kingdom had started training with each other and learning how to fight. The soldiers that had been left behind watched on as the people learned. It caused the soldiers to worry about what would come in the kingdom. It wasn't common knowledge that the cult was as bad as it was. The funerals began getting out of hand as wagons and fires constantly crawled across the country. Originally, it was thought of as a plague until the bodies began getting transported and uncovered, showing stab wounds and crushed skulls. This was when the soldiers went into high alert and marched through the streets of the villages. They marched day and night, hoping to lower the amount of people that had been dying. After about a week, soldiers had been able to capture three cult members, dressed with ebony masks covering their faces. As questions got asked, everything was talked about with a smile on their faces. It showed all of the soldiers to their cores <clears throat> as the cults felt no sympathy for the lives they took. Even after the military intervention, the cults still found a way in, El in every village, but the deaths dropped to a few bodies here and there.